So, um, guys, they want us to solve for 3 secant squared of x minus 4. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, I told you, if you're having trouble and you get stuck, forget about the trick function and just worry. Um, worry about solving for x. And you might even want to do it solving for x just to make sure you're not missing anything out. Because I was looking at a lot of students' solution for this problem, um, when they didn't have my undivided attention, what happened was they started making a lot of similar mistakes. If I had four to both sides, right, I get 3x squared plus 4 equals plus 4. Divide by 3, and I get x squared equals 4 over 3. Remember, from here, all I need to take the square root. So I'm getting x equals plus or minus 2 over radical 3. And like I said, I, I can simplify this. I'll go through that in a second. Let's put away and look at it. But why don't you guys understand is don't forget your plus or minuses, right? And it's really, you know, don't forget your plus or minuses there. So if I'm going to solve this, I'm going to do the exact same operations. I'm going to add 4, and I get 3 secant square root of x equals 4. Divide by 3. All right? To get rid of the squared, I take the square root. So therefore, I get secant of x equals, remember, the square root of 4 over 3 equals the square root of 4 over the square root of 3. So that gives me a 2 over radical 3. Now, a lot of you automatically want to jump into rationalizing the denominator, which is good. That means at least it's been drilled in. Sorry, that's plus or minus, right? Um, that's good. That means it's been drilled into you. But be careful. Remember, we're solving for our secant. We still need to find what this value is. It's very difficult for me to be able to look at what is the secant value. It's much easier for me to find the cosine value, which is the reciprocal of secant. So rather than writing 2 over radical 3 and rationalizing it, what I would do is I'll just write it as cosine of x equals plus or minus radical 3 over 2. Okay? Now I need to figure out when is all the points when cosine is really plus or minus, or is really square root of 3 over 2. And there's going to be four coordinates, right? How do you get a circle? So you have pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, 7 pi over 6, right? And 11 pi over 6, right? Pi over 6. 5 pi over 6, 7 pi over 6, 11 pi over 6. Go ahead and look at your unit circles, and you'll notice that the cosine value is either plus or minus radical 3 over 2 for those four points, correct? Okay? Now, the one important thing, guys, that they, what you'll notice is we still need to find our values for x. So, remember, if I'm going to write this in my simplest form, I can say radical pi over 6 plus what we said, 2 pi, right? You can say this point plus 2 pi, plus 2 pi, plus 2 pi. Then you can say this point, plus 2 pi, plus 2 pi, plus 2 pi. And then you go to this point, and then to that point, and it gets very redundant. So if I'm gonna simplify this answer, if I say this answer, and I just add pi to it, if I just, well, if I just add one pi, I get to this answer. If I add another pi, I get back to the other answer. So I don't need to add 2 pi to all these because just by adding pi gives me my other answer. Does that make sense? So what I can do is say, instead of saying all four of these answers plus 2 pi n, that's very redundant. I don't have to do that. A simpler way I could say that is just say, that's like a triple equals, pi over 6 plus pi, and then how many times are you going to add pi? Well, I could add it once, twice, three times, four times, infinite many times, right? So we'll use them as n. My other answer could be 5 pi over 6 plus, and if I add pi to this answer, I get to my other solution. So I can get pi n. Anybody have any questions on that? Yes? Would it be wrong if we use that form? Um, we're going to be looking for some five answers, so yes, it is going to be something hard time. Yes? So, if I wrote 2 pi n, that would be wrong. For this answer, you can write, you can do simplify it more. So yes, I would I would work with kind of you on getting to simplify. Yes? I thought my goal was to get it back to its original points. You are. 
Then by what pi over six? No, I mean this plus pi. But if you get plus pi once, it gives you to another solution, which is okay. And if you add it again, it's still going to get you back to your other solution. What we're doing, we're not trying to always get it to all the solutions. What we're trying to do is we're trying to name all of the possible solutions. So you just want to make sure you, whatever your answer is, names all of the possible solutions. Okay?